Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry, and I need to tell you a story. When I was a girl, and I would um, clean houses before school, and then I clean banks after school. By the time I was going back home, catching that bus to my house, it was already dark. It was it was late. In fact, when I would go in to start cleaning, it was dark. So I would get off the bus and I'd have to walk back to my house and in the dark. And sometimes there would be some things that felt threatening to me. Like, you know, there'd be somebody kind of lurking on the other side of the street. And I started that job, I was 12, so I was young. Um, by the time I was 14, 15, I could kind of, I was a little less fearless um, and, and you could sense the danger. And um, I learned a little technique whenever I felt that there may be something that was threatening. I would sing with great enthusiasm, like over-the-top enthusiasm. If you believe within your heart, you'll know that no one can change the path that you must go. I learned to do that because my mother, who also went to work in the dark early in the morning, would sometimes encounter um, people who were threatening, who felt threatening or menacing. And she said, there's nothing more threatening than a happy person. <sighs> I've learned that this works. Um, it works in life. Um, the stresses that we have are no longer the stresses that our ancestors had, but it still results in the same kind of stress in your body. One night I was coming back late. I had just come home off the last flight and we were late. We were delayed. We didn't get in until one in the morning. And on my way home, for some reason, my car caught on fire. It was an electrical fire. And I had to pull over on the side of the road. It's steaming and you can smell this, this fire. And it was dark and in a wooded area. Um, so I had to get out of the car. And I got out of the car and I could hear in the woods. <laughs> and we have wild boar in our area. And I was like, ooh, the fire or the boar? If you believe <laughs> within your heart, you'll know. <laughs> and then I moved towards the middle of the street. And I thought, I don't think this boar is afraid of my singing, but this fire will definitely set them back. But it brought back all those memories of a child um, who was in situations that could have been much more dangerous than I even knew. But somehow learning from a woman who was angry and tired and abused her own self, that nothing is more threatening than your happiness. To someone who's menacing, who's angry, who doesn't like the joy that you have coming in the morning, there's nothing more threatening than your happiness. My mother was on to something. Her mother was on to something. Our ancestors were on to something. Singing in the midst of your pain, in the midst of your fear, in the midst of enslavement. There is nothing more threatening than happiness because that happiness conveys a hope for the future. I love you.